I've always wanted to see these kind of dogs. <laughs> it's so awesome. We have been in Alaska for two and a half months for participating in, in, in long distance races. And we have 53 dogs with us. But now we are on the way home to Norway. It's a long journey. Yeah. It's a very long journey. Hammerfest is the northeast town in the world. <laughs> okay. So we are a long way from home, for sure. And when we were supposed to go home, Alaska said to us, we have no airplane for you. So the best and the, the easiest and the, 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 the cheapest option for us was to drive from Anchorage, Alaska, down here. We were finding a campsite uh, last night, uh, but of course, as soon as we got to the dogs, the police was coming. You cannot be in here, but where can we be? <laughs> So, um, here, go. <laughs> so we were agreeing with the police last night, we could stay the night over there, but uh, uh, this morning they was coming and said we had to leave. Well, I was just driving to work this morning and um, I saw the dogs all chained out like this and um, just thought how unusual it was and was concerned for the dogs and so I turned around and came back and spoke with them and realized where they were from and what, what it was all about and it was just a matter of where could they have 53 dogs for the night so I asked my boss and he said yes let's try to help them and so we called and got the approvals and here we are. This woman was coming here with a rescue plan it was incredible and, and look at the area here. This is a paradise. You know, uh, this is a part countryside, of peaceful, no heavy traffic. The dogs are gonna love this. I feel really good right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. This lady have a big heart. <laughs> That's good. Yeah. Uh, that makes me believe in humans. Uh, there is still hope.